Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tashawn here, and I'm back with part two of what I melted um, for the month of March. As I mentioned in part, part one, I am behind with filming, so I do apologize for that. So um, let's get started because I do have a lot here and I don't want this video to be super long. So I was, um, I did melt some of this loaf from Britta's uh, Creepy Treasures, and this is yellow cake, jelly donuts, uh, vanilla ice cream, and sweet and creamy. And um, this was a custom that I did with Britta for this one, and it's so good. Oh, my God. Like, you get the yellow cake. You get that jelly donut. It's so good. You get the um, creaminess from the ice cream. It's sweet from the sweet and creamy. It's just a really good bakery blend. Um, Britta has added this to the rotation of um, her scents. So she actually named it Spellbound. Um, and, you know, so many people have already, you know, have also tried this blend and they love it. So I'm so excited that something that I was able to create, other people also enjoy it too. Um, I do have another loaf of this uh, when I did customs. Was it? No, it wasn't customs. She did, um, oh my goodness, was it a, it might have been a restock, I believe, RTS. Um, but at that time, I ordered it in Spellbound, but those loaves were decorated loaves. I can't remember when I ordered it, but I believe it was one of the, um, it might have been this year, like earlier in the year that I ordered that loaf. So um, I had been holding on to this one because it smells so good. And I was like, uh, so I finally bust into it and started melting it. And it's really, really good. Um, it's just so, like you get that. Um, uh, it's just delicious. Just pure deliciousness. So if you like bakery heavy this is something that you would, you know, probably enjoy if you like these scent notes. It's really delicious, and I definitely enjoy that. Um, we have Rainbow Melts, and this is OCD. So this is a, mis a mix of espresso, caramel coffee, vanilla hazelnut, Starbucks. Um, this was a shape, and I just cut it in half, and this one was really good. I did like this coffee blend. Mm, it's very strong. You definitely get the espresso. Um, you get the hazelnut. You get all of it, like the caramel. The it's it's a strong coffee blend. So if you don't like co uh, strong coffee blends, you might not like this one. But I enjoy this. It's really delicious. I love um, coffee to drink, and I love uh, coffee scents. We have another Rainbow Melts. This is Strawberry Frosted Animal Cookies. And this is Fresh Picked Strawberries Frosted uh, Animal Cookies. This one was delicious. I enjoyed this one too. Mmm, so good. Um, and some of these things that I have that only just have like a few pieces in them, I am going to work on finishing them. Um, Because I've been trying to go through the things that just have like one or two or three pieces in it just to kind of get rid of it instead of hoarding it. So those I will pull out to put in my basket for things that I'm trying to finish up. Um, so this one is Giggles and Grins, and this is Strawberry Satsuma Cotton Candy. This one was delicious. I love Satsuma. Mmm, it's so good. The cotton candy just adds extra sweetness to it. You definitely get Satsuma is the strongest in this, and then you get some of that strawberry in the background. But like I said, that cotton candy just adds extra sweetness to it. It's really juicy from the Satsuma. So I enjoy that one. This is Rain or Shine. This is Lemon, Sunshine, and Sweet Rain. This one is beautiful. Mm, you definitely get that lemon, that rain, but you get like a sweetness. Oh, it's just beautiful. Oh, wow. And I love, um, like the, like rain and rain in general, like when you're outside and it's raining and you're around like flowers and that the rain just hits those flowers, it opens them. The, I feel like it opens up 
the leaves and the petals on the flowers so you get all of that like you get like the sweetness from you know certain flowers you get like the floraliness from um depending on what type of flower it is and that's what this sweet rain gives me oh, it's just so beautiful this is a great uh blend to melt like on a um a cloudy rainy day this one is so lushy so this one is so white Calacus and Avobath. This is another beautiful blend. Very spa-like, clean, very fresh, citrusy, just beautiful. I love these type of blends. We have Cider Lane and Animal Cookies. This is Gooey Caramel Apple Cider House Blend of Animal Cookies. And this one. is so good. Um, you definitely get that cider. So I feel like the Cider Lane is the strongest. But then you get those... Um, that cookie note from the animal cookies in the background. This one is really good. I, I do like this one. Then we have Bohemian, and this is vanilla sandalwood, not champa and patchouli rain. Very earthy, incensey. Oh, so good. Wow. I love these type of scents. I love neck champa. Some people don't. Some people don't like patchouli, but I do. I like those earthy, incensey type blends. And this one is so good. It's like warm, earthy, um, incensey, just beautiful. Then we have a shape bag here. This is Jolly of the Month Club. And this one was orange clove jelly, hot Danish orange. This one was nice. It, um, it was a little bit on the light side. Like in the bag, when you smell it, it smells like you really can smell like the hot orange Danish and the orange clove jelly. You definitely get like that clovey note. It's um, pretty strong, but on warm, it um, was a little bit on the lighter side. And it could be because this is from um, November 2020. So it could be that's why. I mean, it's still like I could smell it when I put it in the warmer, but it's just not as strong as it is in the bag. But it was good. It was nice. I definitely enjoyed it. I would get more of this one if it came back around. It just was a little bit light to me, but it still smelled good. Uh, and maybe, you know, you may not want this to be like a super strong scent. Like clove is a very strong um, scent in itself. So um, sometimes when you have things that are too strong, when you get them in the beginning, you're like, oh, wow, this is so strong. And sometimes if you let, depending on, you know, the vendor or the oils, um, the longer it sits, the scent might, you know, mellow out a little bit. Some people prefer that um, type of uh, reaction with some of their blends. They may feel like, oh, this is too strong for me in the beginning. I'm just going to set that to the side because that's just too much. And then later when they come back to it, sometimes it mellows out and it's not as strong um, as it was in the beginning. And this might be something that someone may like. They may prefer it to be more on the lighter side. It was really good, though. It just, like I said, was a little bit light to my liking. I, but I would get that again. Um, and then let me reach back here because it's just like... Um, this is L3. This is Baja Cactus Blossom. And this one is so good. It's fresh. It's green. Mm. It's a little bit um, floral. It's so good. Um, love this. I might actually put this one today. It smelled really good. And this is, um, what are these? The trig tarts, which I love because you can just break off what you want and put them in your warmers. And then I am um, almost done with this loaf. This was uh, Oregon Autumn Campfire Mallow Palo Santo. And this is so good. It's really, um, you definitely get more of that smokiness from the Campfire Mallow. 
you get the warmness from the Palo Santo. Oregon Autumn, I believe, I can't think of it offhand, but I believe it's more like, um, is it? No, I could be thinking of something. I'm not going to say what it is because I can't remember right now, but it's a note in here that I'm smelling that is the Oregon, 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 Oregon Autumn. <laughs> It smells really, really nice, though. So I just have, like, a few more pieces that I will be looking to finish up. It takes me forever to go through loads. Like, um, some people, they go through their loads pretty quickly. I am not that one. I have so much wax, so it takes me forever just to go through anything. But I am trying my best to melt through what I have. Um, uh... I, you know, a couple of things I saw, you know, um, announcements of like restocks for things and I completely said no, I skipped them and, um, didn't purchase anything. So I've been doing really good with, you know, saying no and working through what I have, but I've been making little exceptions here and there. So, um, that is what I have been doing with that. And then I think this, these are one-offs. So... This one is Super Tarts Full House, and this is a, um, it's cookie jar, sweet cream, cotton candy, and marshmallow. It's so good. You definitely get the cotton candy, that, that sweetness. It's creamy from the sweet cream and the marshmallow. And you do get like a cookie note. Very delicious. And then I have a loaf. Um, this was a loaf from Ashes Scents. I had cut up. I've been working through that. And this is Santa Barbara, and this is Cool Coconut Surf Stress Relief Rose Hips Cactus and Dewberry. This smells so beautiful. Mm, it's very um, calming and just relaxing. I had melted this in the evening time, um, even though this doesn't have like um, I don't know what her what's in stress relief. So it might I do get a little bit of lavender maybe. But, um, I definitely get that, uh, eucalyptus, is it, like I get like a minty eucalyptus type. It smells really good. I did not look up her scent notes on this, but, um, it's a very relaxing, just calming blend and it smells amazing. So you have like uh, the cactus and the dewberry. So you get like a little bit of green, a little bit of um, dewberries, dewberries. What are dewberries? Is dewberry a fruit? I can't remember. It might be a fruit. But it's just all together, it's just a beautiful scent. Like... Like I said, it's very calming, very relaxing. And usually you associate that with like lavender. Like I said, I don't know exactly what's in her stress relief. But to me, I feel like I do pick up like mint. Maybe like eucalyptus. Um, and some lavender. So that could be a combination of what's in her stress relief. I'm not really sure. But you get like that, that calmness of... Um, when it comes to like those type of blends, those type of notes. And it smells really good. So, um, I did enjoy this and, um, hopefully I can get more of this at some point in the future. We have Teddy B's and this one was Beachy Clean and this is Seaweed, Night Blooming Jasmine, Vetiver, Coconut, Eucalyptus, Marine Notes, and Crisp Cotton. And it's um, more on the florally side. As you can see, I only melted one cube. Um, 
I don't do well with heavy florals. And to me, this is a little bit strong on the floral note for me. So I don't know um, what I'm going to do with this one. I mean, it's it's a pretty scent. It's just really heavy on the floral. And I believe it's that jasmine. Um, it's very strong to my nose. So I might see if maybe I can blend this with something else to try to tone down the jasmine. Um, cause that's all my nose is really picking up. Uh, and I, when I first melted it, I, I picked up the same thing. Like I can't pick up the other notes because my nose is like, boom, Jasmine. <laughs> it, yeah, it's, I, I need to stop before I start sneezing. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I may pass this on to someone else or try to see if I can blend this with something to kind of like tone this down. We have a song of ice and fire. This is cashmere cream, warm fireside, and a touch of cool peppermint. And this is beautiful. You get that cashmere cream. It's just like, oh wow. It's just, it's just beautiful. And then with the peppermint, and then that um, warm fireside, so you get a little bit of smokiness. So it's like, to me, the cashmere cream gives it like a creaminess to it. Cream, like warm, cozy, um, a little minty and smoky. So just think of, I imagine sitting in a cabin, you got the fireplace going, um... You have like maybe a, a cup of uh, peppermint tea and you have like this warm blanket just wrapped in, you know, wrapped, you know, you're sitting on a couch and you're just wrapped in this coziness of comfort. This is what this gives me. It's so good. And this was a souffle. <clears throat> And then we have Baby Lou, and this is Sweet Lavender Cotton Candy and Vanilla Cake Pops. Mm. So first, I get the cake pops. I definitely get the vanilla cake pops. And then I get the lavender. It's a little bit sweet from the cotton candy, but not too sweet. And this is beautiful. A really nice uh, lavender bakery. And this also was a souffle. And we have another one that was a souffle. This is County Fair. And this is kettle corn, soft pretzels, and fried ice cream. Mmm, that butteriness from the popcorn. And the pretzels. Mmm. Creamy from the fried ice cream. Oh, wow. So delicious you definitely like get that ice cream note fried ice cream note then we have tangerine mimosa so this is tangerine gelato champagne nectarine and black currants mm, so citrusy fruity juicy oh, so good you're out with your girls and you're having brunch at a fancy restaurant. You're sitting outside and you're drinking tangerine mimosas. <laughs> this smells so good. We have uh, cat, cat and <laughs> cotton and lavender. And this is lavender, vanilla, cotton blossom, sandalwood, and fresh air. This is another beautiful scent. Mm. Just cozy and relaxing. It's a vibe. Like, lavender to me is just so beautiful. 
it goes well with mostly anything. I love it. Um, it's just so calm. Like, it puts you in, like, such a relaxed mood. Um, I put lavender in the warmers at night in my daughter's room. And when I tell you, like, she'll sit there and say, I'm not sleepy. I'm not sleepy. I'm not sleepy. And it's like, are you sure? As soon as I put the lavender on and turn out the light and put her, her rain sounds on, she is down for the count, <laughs> like in 2.5 seconds. So, lavender works wonders <laughs> for her. Um, then we have Lulabel, and this is clothespins, dewberries, and a hint of vanilla mint. Did I have written down? I don't have written down what dewberries is. I think dewberry. I think it's a berry, like some type of berry. And this bag was open. Hmm. Oh, so good. A beautiful laundry blend. Very soft, pretty. Mmm, so good. I get more of the clothespins in this one along with... The dewberries. It's kind of... Um, just a slight... Like, I'm getting, like, laundry and a little bit... I'm picking up a little bit of sweetness. But mostly clothespins. But it's beautiful. Very clean, fresh laundry scent. Or laundry blend. And then we have Escobar. And let me tell you guys a funny story. Like, I knew I had this and I couldn't find it. And I was like, oh, my God, what happened to my Escobar? So, in the last... Um, RTS, I ordered this on a loaf because I'm like, I don't know what I did with my chunks. I know I have it. It's not in my, I'm like, did I accidentally give this away? Like what's going on? It was in my bag waiting to be filmed because I, I melted this in the month of March and I was like, oh, there you are. But it's okay. Cause I love this blend. So I don't mind that I have a full loaf in this because it's amazing. This is Palo Santo Beach Treats, um, which is um, Tiffany's version of Beach Nights, which is um, Bad Bath and, or not Bad Bath and Beyond, Bath and Body Works. <laughs> mm. This is so good. It's warm, it's beachy. Like, it's aquatic. Mm, it's so good. Mm, I'm, I'm happy to have this in a, a loaf. Like, I love Palo Santo blends, so I'm all here for this one. Like Palo Santo goes good with bakery. Um, it goes well with other blends that are non-bakery. I feel like it goes with anything. And this one is amazing. So I'm excited to have that in a loaf. And so that was all of my Teddy B's. And then we have Lord Apothecary. This was Boom Boom. And this is Boom Boom Type. Um... This one was from last March. And this one was beautiful. Like, you definitely get the, the boom boom. Uh, gives you that body care S vibe. Smells amazing. It was a little bit on the lighter side. Um, so what I did was when I first melted it, I noticed that it was light. So I just put it in, um, the bedroom, one of the bedrooms, which is smaller, even though our bedrooms are pretty big, I felt like it was more contained than having it out in the living room, um, kitchen, dining room area. So, uh, it did perform better for me in a smaller space. Um, so I am going to finish, you know, this bag off because it is an older bag, but Unfortunately, Laura Ap Apothecary had to close due to family um, issues um, th uh, that, were, that was happening. So she did close. Um, she said hopefully maybe she's able to return. 
So at this point, I can't even say, you know, I'll purchase the things that were light for me that I had that were in my collection that were older to try again to see if it was just because I've had them for a longer period of time. Um, I can't even say that. So unfortunately, I just, I'm going to melt what I have left in my stash. And hopefully, you know, maybe one day if she does come back, I'll get the opportunity to try uh, blends again. But um, I did enjoy the blend. Like I said, it just was a little bit on the lighter side. So I had to change which room I had it um, in. Um, this one is Tr uh, Tristan and Isolde, Day, And this is Sugar Cookies Gold Sugar Palo Santo. Now this one is from last year as well. It's from April. But this one is strong. <laughs> It is still like it it the throw is like I actually purchased this recently. It's so good. And it could be because of the with the Palo Santo and the gold sugar. Um it's very, very beautiful. Mmm. It almost feels like a fragrance. Like if this was like a fragrance. It's just beautiful. Um a great nighttime blend. And um, I usually melt this in the bedroom. So I am going to work through trying to use up this as well. So it's just a couple of pieces in here that I will use up. We also have Papa's Office, which is smoked vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. This one is also from last April as well. Um, but this one is still, still strong. So it just depends. Um, sometimes it depends on the oils, the vendors, some things last, you know, longer than others, depending on, you know, who the vendor is and the, the supplies, the oils that they're getting their supplies from, you know, it could be different. This one performed very well for me, um, even though it was, you know, over now it's over a year old since we're in May. Um, but this one was really good. So I'm definitely, uh, was a fan of this one. I do have more of this one um, that I think I got in like June, I believe. So, um, so what I was doing with these, I was trying to melt through the things that I had from April. And I think in my collection, I have June, July, and then it's like October, November. Um, I have stuff. So like October, November of last year. So I'm trying to work through the things that I had from like 2020, 2021. Um, some things are performing very well and it's like, oh wow, this is still like a beast and it's very strong. And then some things I've noticed, okay, this is a little bit on the lighter side, but I still enjoy it. It's still, you know, um, I still could smell it. It just was on a little bit on the lighter side, but I still was able to enjoy it and melt through those things. So far, I have not had to really, or I know some people were like, you know, they say they were going through their wax collection. They had to like throw wax out because it, you know, just had no scent at all. So far, I have not, um, you know, had that happen to me. So I'm trying to work through the older things that I have so that I don't have to throw things away. Um, you know, because when you think about it, you know, we're paying money for this wax. We're paying, you know, um, using our, our, our hard-earned dollars to pay for this wax. So... Um, you don't want to be throwing things away that you spent money on. So for me, um, so far, you know, things are still performing. They may not be as strong as when I first got them, but you still can smell them when I put them in the warmer. And if I put them like in the bathroom or my daughter's room, you really are like, okay, I can smell it. This is very beautiful. It still smells delicious. If it's like a bakery blend or what have you. So that's what I've been doing. That's been my strategy for things that I feel like is on the lighter side, um, I just put it in a, a different room and I get a better uh, performance that way. So this one, like I said, it doesn't really have that much. So I'm going to try to work through using the rest of these up as well. So that was that. And then we have um, candles from the keeping room. I had to think about that because I always want to call it keeping candles from... I always think of keeping up with the Kardashians. So um, I have to like really think about it. Candles from the keeping room. <laughs> um, this one is sugared peach and this one is so good. It's delicious. It's sugary. It's sweet. Um, and uh, I had, this was my first order of candles from the keeping room. 
So I did get um, a couple of things that I, um, from the first time when she came back with the restock, she will be retiring. Carol will be retiring um, later in the year. So she is going to have a couple of more <clears throat> restocks. I think I saw something at the next restock, maybe in June, maybe. Um, so I'm going to try to get um, in on that. Uh, I will make a exception for that to try to, you know, get some more sense from her. Um, the only downside is because she's trying to use up the oils that she has in her her stash, um, you are only able to get one cent. So, like, when I ordered, I was only able to get one of each. So, if I want to get more of these, I will have to place it with the next order if she has it available. And, you know, she let, the good thing about on her website is she tells you, like, how many she has in stock when you go to order something. So if the, these scents are available again, you know, when she does the, you know, I'll add on and get them again and then get some other things that I want to try. And I will do that until she says, okay, guys, I am done. I've used up all the oils in my collection that I had and, you know, um, created all these shapes and that's all that we have. And then, you know, she shuts it down for good. So this one is garden mint and cucumber. This one, oh my goodness. This is so fresh. Um, it's green from the cucumber. You got that mint. Um, the green is from like the mint, the mintiness. Let me open this up. I know I didn't open up the um, sugary peach or sugar peach one, but this one, oh, it's so good. Oh, wow. And this just gives me infused water with cucumber and fresh mint leaves. Like, it's so good. And I do think I'm going to rebag these and put them in um, other poly bags that I do have. I just haven't had the time um, to do that just yet. So, um, I mean, I love how her aesthetic. But I think I am going to rebag these. And then this one was uh, Blackberry, Palo's Blackberry Patch, which is Palo Santo and um, Blackberry. This one was really good. Another delicious, warm and cozy um, blend with that Palo Santo and then with that fruit. So, like I said, Palo Santo goes with a lot of things. She also has one that's Palo Strawberry Patch. So, I may get that one next time if it is available in the next um, RCS. So, and these shapes are so cute. Like, look at these cute little shapes she has. Um, and depending on your warmer, you can cut these little hearts in half or put one whole one in a, in a, um, warmer. Um, however, because, you know, this is, you know, we're, we're coming towards the end of the line with her, uh, company. I would say, you know, try to hold on to it as long as you can. <laughs> Give me one second, guys. Okay. So now we are, um... With Rose Girls, as you can see, there's only one piece left in here, so I'm definitely going to use this up this weekend. And this is Mermaid Hair, and this one is Honeydew, Mandarin, Kiwi, um, Apricot, Watermelon, Tiara, Flower, Lychee, Blossom, Coconut Water. This one, I love this. It's fruity, florally. Mm. It's so good. I feel like with this one, you're sitting like in a field of grass somewhere um, and you're having a picnic and you have like this awesome uh, fruit salad with honeydew, mandarin, kiwi, apricot, watermelon. You have like um, your glass, you know, ice cold glass of coconut water. And then you have like tiara flowers. Um, and like the lychee blossoms, not the actual like lychee, but like the actual like blossoms, like the flower part of it, just like um, as decoration on your little picnic um, setup. It's just delicious. And that's a mini melter. So I just have one. <laughs> so I will most likely probably put this in our daughter's room or either the bathroom. Then we have 
<clears throat> cards with ghoul friends. And this is donuts, cookies, bread, pumpkin, sugar, donut, nilla, um, pumpkin, Noel, and fluff puffs. And this is a delicious bakery blend. I already love carbs, but this takes it up a notch with that pumpkin. It's so good. It's sweet. It's just delicious. It's a delicious bakery. If you are big into bakery, you definitely will enjoy this. When I first got into the wax community, I was heavily into bakery. Like, that's all I got was bakery, bakery, bakery. And then I started to venture out a few months later. <clears throat> but don't get me wrong. I do <clears throat> enjoy bakery still. But I feel like now my um, taste, <clears throat> excuse me, tastes have changed more towards, like, earthy, woodsy, masculine, beachy, aquatic, um, those type of blends. But... Every once in a while, I will have to, you know, throw some bakery in the mix. So, this one, I will always get this from Rose Girls. I love this. Um, as you can see, I have three um, mini melters left from this bag. And I also have, I believe, like, two more mini melter bags. And I believe I have a chunk bag, I believe. <clears throat> this one is the Hoodie Heist. And this one was a um, customer creation, Jessica S had created this there was a contest and this one won and this is flannel shaving cream vanilla sandalwood palo santo fresh air and blossom and when i tell you <clears throat> this smells so good it's just beautiful you get that tree note it's fresh mm. it's warm it's cozy this is beautiful i have I think two more bags of this in my collection. Um, this one came out really, really nice. And this is multicolored um, mini melters. This one is Midnight Rain. So I talked about Midnight Rain in my empties. Um, I just kind of briefly talked about it. But Midnight Rain um, is a, it's more on the floral side. So this one is. Um, Bergamot, lavender, moss, sandalwood, and rain. And that her rain is a it's a floral rain note. It's good. It's really really good. Um, it's like I said, you definitely get the florals in this, but it's very calm, peaceful. It's so good. It just smells really, really good. And it does have like a slight freshness of like being outside at nighttime in the rain. Um, it was so funny. I was at work the other day and I said, I can smell the rain. And it hadn't started raining yet, but I could smell it. And she was like, what? And I was like, I can smell rain. I said, it's going to rain. And she was looking at me like, yeah, but they didn't say anything about it. I was like, but I can smell it. Like, you know, um, even though it didn't say anything about rain that day, which was weird. Um, I think the next day the rain was coming, but I could smell the rain a day before it even got to us. And she was just like, okay. <laughs> but I love the rain so much. So for me, I pick up on rain all the time. Um, I'll be like, oh, it's going to rain. I could smell it. And people will be like, what? <laughs> But it just smells, it's something about rain, being outside and being outdoors when that rain comes down and just the rain, just touching the dirt, touching the grass, touching the flowers and it just opens up everything and you, it's like you literally can smell the earth. Um, I like that. I love that. I love the sound of the rain. I love the way it smells when it rains. Um, I feel like a good rainstorm is just amazing to me I love that and it puts me in such a relaxed zen mode so um it's just something something about rain it just does it for me I love it so anytime it rains I'm like yay rain and um you know I get jealous of other people and they're like oh we had a big rainstorm I was like yeah we didn't get anything here like can you send that rain my way I get really, people hate the rain here, but I love, like, when it rains, I'm all for it. I'm like, like today, we're supposed to get rain. I'm like, yes, rain. I just enjoy it. It's just so peaceful. It's calming. It puts you in this mode of, like, just relax and put your feet up. 
and it smells awesome. Like I will open up the windows. Like when I have severe allergies and so does my daughter and my husband. And you know, the allergists will tell you like, keep your windows closed. You know, um, when you come inside, make sure you, you take a shower immediately, wash your hair just to get that pollen off of you. Um, I will open up my windows though. I suffer for it later, <laughs> but I, I can't, like, I cannot not open up my windows when it's a good rainstorm and don't let it be like thunder and lightning. That's the best. Like, I love that. I'm like, yeah. And my, and my daughter is the same way. It's to the point now that before she used to go to sleep to just like normal rain sounds. Now she's like, play thunderstorms. And so she goes to sleep to that. Like, she likes the sound of the, I tell you when I, when she says play thunderstorms, I'm not going to say her name because it's going to turn on the other one that's here. Um, but you guys know who I'm talking about. When she says, play thunderstorms, she is asleep in like seconds. And I'm like, oh my God. You know, typically it's like, come on, time to go to bed, go to sleep, you know, close your eyes. Come on, what are you doing? Why are you still up? You put the thunder sound on and it's, it's like she's gone. And I'm like, wow. So that sound, it like relaxes her and puts her in this mood where like, I'm so exhausted. I'm ready to go to sleep. And I love that. Like, I just love how peaceful rain is. It just takes you to another another place. Um, no matter what you're going through that day or, you know, things could have gone wrong. When that rain comes, it just puts me in a, a sense of, you know what? I'm not going to let anything bother me. I'm just going to sit down and enjoy this beautiful rain that is falling and just listen to the sounds. Like you hear all of the sounds, you know, the birds, the, um, you know, you hear the chirping, you hear the rain, you hear the rain as it hits on different things. You know, when I hear the rain hit on our skylight, I'm like, I, I can hear that. Like I get so excited if I'm in the bathroom and I hear, I'm like, oh, I hear the rain, <laughs> you know, and I'll, I'll come outside and I'll open up all the windows and just like that air from the rain is phenomenal. So as you can tell, can you tell I love the rain? <laughs> like a whole tirade on rain. <laughs> um, but I'm just so passionate about the rain. I love it. Um, I wish I lived somewhere where it just rained every day because I would love that. Like some people do not like the rain at all. They get upset when it rains. For me, it puts me in a happy place. Like I love the rain. Um, it can rain every day and I would love it. Like I would be happy. Like I would not have a care in the world if it rained every day. And I know, um, one, we need the rain. Like the rain does good things for the earth. You know, it, it waters the plants, the grass, the trees and things like that. So we do need rain. Um, it's a source of water and stuff like that. But some people just don't, they feel rain is an inconvenience and you know, they're, they're entitled to feel that way. But for me, I love the rain. Like it's just beautiful. Just it's such a wonderful, beautiful thing to experience, to watch it, to hear it, and just have your moment, your time of zen and relaxation. So bring on the rain. I'm all for it. So that is it, guys. Enough talk about rain. I didn't talk to you guys to death about rain. <laughs> but um, so that was, like I said, this was what I didn't finish. Um, I will be working to finish these things. Um, right now I have two baskets going of things that I'm working on trying to finish already. So what I will do, I will go through the things that don't have a lot in and I will actually add those to my basket because that's what I've been working on. I haven't been really melting so much um, specific vendors or specific scents. Um, I just been focusing on let's get rid of what you have that only have a few pieces left in it. So for instance, this just has three pieces in it. I'm going to melt through this. This just has one. I'm going to melt through this. Um, something like this, I'm going to put back in my drawer and pull this out for another time. So things that are full, I'm going to put back in the drawers where they're stored. And then things that are running low, I'm just going to add that to my basket and continue melting. The goal is to finish those baskets up and I've been doing really well. Um, I've been looking at things and I'm like, oh, and I'm like, nope, don't do it. Stick to the plan. I've been, my goal is to melt through the send shot cups that I have. So that'll be my next task. Once I empty, empty these baskets of like the little one-off pieces and things like that, I will then um, work to um, get through my scent shot cups. So um, I do have to film what I melted for the month of April. It's not as, um, a lot, it's not as big as March was 
because April, I kind of was like a little bit lazy on some days with melting, but I do have that. So I will um, work on getting that done for you guys and um, working on some other things as well. I know I, I owe you guys a collection video. It's just so overwhelming <laughs> trying to figure out where to even begin with that. So I'm still working on a strategy and a plan for that, but that will be coming this year for sure. Um, even if I decide to just say, okay, well, let's just start with this little section here <clears throat> of this storage and then, you know, work that way. I can do that, but I still have to like come up with a plan of what I want to do. So that will be coming, um, in the future. So that was it guys. If you made it to the end, I do appreciate each and every one of you. I know this one was a pretty long one. So, um, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you are notified when I upload my next video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.